you mentioned you're, you were roommates with Brett. Are you surprised mm -hmm. that he went on to become the star yeah. that he did? Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised he got that push. What do you think of the whole Montreal screw? It's bullshit, man. Number one, if, if Brett, you know, it's a work, man. What, you know, part of what was wrong with the WWE at that time was the fact that the inmates were running the asylum. Um, I didn't agree with any of that crap, man. Uh, the click. Um, you know, the, I, w I was writing uh, at one point for Vince, and he, Vince would wind up getting Brett and Sean on the phone and would have to talk to them for three or four hours trying to talk them into an, an idea or an angle. Are you serious? <sighs> I would have fired both of them bastards. It's just, you know, it's bullshit, man. This is a business. Treat it like a business. Brett, you didn't win that belt, believe it or not. You did not win that belt. It was handed to you on a silver platter. You know, so this Montreal screw job my ass, man. Yeah, they were just, it was such bullshit what those guys were doing and you know, the fact that Sonny was involved in it made it even worse. Speaking of Sonny, uh, is there anyone at the WWE that you didn't have sex with around that time? Me. <laughs> Me, yeah, it's pretty brutal. And, and for you fans out there, if you're considering uh, buying into the I'll watch Missy Hyatt and her do stuff on film, what the hell's wrong with you? I mean, poor Missy Hyatt, her mouth looks like two, two rubber tires, man.